My dad was a barber in Minnesota. He painted signs in between customers, so cut hair. So I watched that and said, I want to do that. And I sought out sign shops, and then I worked at a couple in the summer until I could go to a school. That's how I started. There was no computers making letters. And then when it came, I thought, like everybody else, there's the end. As much as I've traveled the world, everybody can get the same clip art CD. So I've seen the same plumber with a pipe wrench in different countries. I mean, come on, draw it with your hands and use your head. That's what it's about. I think we're in the Renaissance right now, hand painting signs, because digital has made everything too perfect. And people want to see personality in it again. They want to see a mistake here or there. People asked me, saying, hey, maybe you should teach this, because you know so much about it, you've been in it so long. Well, I'm not a teacher, I don't know what's going on. And we set up a class, but it turned out pretty good. And I thought, well, I got a lot more to offer than this. I think what I'm different from other teachers or sign painters from it is, it isn't about money. I'm not just seeing how many I can and get to the next town. I want to know everybody. I want to help them. So the tattooist, graffiti, I don't care where they're from when they come in my class. As a sign painter, we have to do so many things. We have to wear so many hats. We're doing an ad agency's job as well. This is gonna be your image. I always tell people the next sign that's my best.